In this video, I'm going to give you an example of adding and subtracting prisms. So I made a question, so I'll go ahead and read the question. Uh, several prism prescriptions are shown below. What is the total prism in each eyeglass prescription? Specify direction and eye. So before we begin, uh, I just want to remind you that when you uh, subtract prisms, the prisms are facing in the same direction, or pointing in the same direction. So here, for example, you subtract them because they're pointing in the same direction. They're all pointing this way. Both of them are pointing towards your right. So here you subtract them, and here you add them because the prisms are pointing in opposite directions. Similarly, um, with the vertical prisms, here you subtract them, and here you add them because they're pointing in opposite directions. You add them, and when they're pointing in the same direction, you subtract them. So let's begin with question A. So the prescription here in the right eye is 3 base out, and the left eye is 3 base in. So I, I encourage you to think about this. Do you add the two, or do you subtract them? What do you think? Well, the answer is that you subtract them. So the answer is just zero prism total, because if you can draw it out, or if you can imagine it, uh, you see that the prisms, in this case, are pointing in the same direction. So you get zero, you subtract them. For part B, the right eye has three base out, the left eye has three base out. So think about it. Do you add them or do you subtract them? In this case, you add them, you get six. Six prism diopters base out, because you have to specify the direction, and the eye. So this is both eyes. Six, six prism diopters base out in both eyes. Again, uh, you can either draw it out or just imagine. Uh, you can just imagine the image in your head. This is what I usually do. I just think of it in my head. And you can see that the prisms are pointing in opposite directions, so you add them. For C, uh, right eye is 3 base in, left eye 2 base out. So in your mind's eye, or you can draw it out, you can see that the prisms are pointing in the same direction. So you subtract them, so you're left with just one prism diopter. Uh, base in, in the right eye. Okay, so let's go to D. D in the right eye, you get three base up, and the left eye, you have three base up. Now we're dealing with vertical prisms, but the concept is exactly the same. So what do you think? Do you add them, or do you subtract them? In this case, the total prism is zero. You subtract them, because they're pointing in the same direction. You can draw it out. Draw three base up in the right eye, and three base up in the left eye. OK, so let's go down to E. Here we have three base down in the right eye, and in the left eye we have three base up. So what do you think? Do we add them, or do we subtract them? In this case, we add them because they're pointing in opposite directions. So here you have six uh, prism diopters. Okay. Now you can either do uh, six prism diopters base down in the right eye, or, or another way of writing this is uh, six prism diopters base up in the left eye. There's two ways of writing this total prism here. Each are the same. So six prism diopters base down in the right eye is exactly the same thing as six prism diopters space up in the left eye. It's two of the same thing. So the total prism here is six prism diopters total. 
but you can either say six prism base down in the right or six prism base up in the left, the same thing. Okay, let's go to F, the last example. So uh, in the right eye here, we have three base down. In the left eye, this is four base down. Ignore the K and K, that's a mistake there. Let me just block it out here. The K and K, that's a mistake. So right eye, you have three base down, and left eye, you have four base down. So what do you think? Here, you subtract them, so you get one prison diopter base down in the left eye. So that's it. That's adding and subtracting prisms. So hopefully this video helps you. Uh, this is very important. And if you work in an optometry clinic or in a ophthalmology clinic, you will see prisms. And you have to know how to add or subtract prisms. Okay, hopefully this video helps.